Hello all, I don't know exactly where my face is situated in the video here. My name is Dave Rickaby. Um, we are filming the Stevenson Cedar River and Eastern Railway tonight. And um, I want to show you the railroad. Um, the railroad is in a 61 foot long room in my basement here. Um, it's about 14 feet wide. Uh, there will be another branch line built off of this. All I have at the moment is just bench work. I have ideas for the track plan, but I just want to walk through. There isn't any track down. I want to walk through and just kind of show you what my my vision is and the, and the concept is. The railroad is a fictional railroad. It runs 15 miles from a Great Lakes port at Cedar River, Michigan, in Menominee County, where I, I where I grew up, uh, and it goes inland 15 miles to Stevenson, Michigan, where it will uh, interchange with the standard gauge Chicago Northwestern. And this takes place around the turn of the century, 1910 to 1913 maybe, um, at North Lake, which is about halfway through the system. Uh, there, there is a sawmill and the interchange with the other narrow gauge railroad called the Westman Dam Lumber Company. So let's go on in the railroad room now and uh, let's see what uh, my concept and vision is here. We will check out Cedar River first. Cedar River, of course, will be a port town um, on the Green Bay of the Lake Michigan. Uh, there really isn't, a, like I say, any track down yet. I'm just kind of experimenting on um, some ideas. What we do have here at the harbor, though, is the Rulo Brothers Fish Cannery. Uh, there will also be an icing platform here for them. Um, I am going to be laying track on the dock. Uh, as you can see, the reefer is out there. I also plan on having another dock out in this area here because I'd also like to have a Great Lake schooner in here for the, for the lumber that we're going to haul here from the sawmill. So this entire area here right now is just, it's just wide open, but I do have plans for it. This uh, engine house, which was built by Tulsa Mulvaney out in South Dakota, uh, I believe is... Uh, business is called Rushmore Custom Models or Custom Structures. Um, we'll be going, uh, I believe, in this area here. I'll be building an, an extension off of off of the uh, Cedar River proper, in and uh, it'll head out towards the furnace area here. So there will be a yard, passing siding, buildings, um, freight house, uh, beautiful depot down here. There'll be a hotel. Uh, some of these buildings uh, will not be used in here. Um, this uh, beautiful uh, freight station was built by Bob Walker. Uh, that'll be at Stevenson. And some of these cabins back here uh, will be along the route somewhere. The hillside tank will be at North Lake. Um, but kind of taking a, a little note from Larry Burke's uh, Lorium Mohawk and Broad, uh, Brockway, um, I believe that's what it's called, the LMMB. Um, I'm looking at the track coming in, you know, from the left and crossing the street and then following a set of buildings curving back and then into the yard. Um, in this area here, we do have, you know, a couple little shacks and stuff. We do have a brothel over there and there will be a church nearby, either across the street or right next door. Just a little, you know, playfulness there. Um, this building over here was built by Al Judy. So uh, the, as we can see, the Cedar River Rambler is coming into Cedar River. That is the name of the path to the train that will run at least twice a day in both directions. It will be headquartered actually at Stevenson uh, for meeting the, the passenger trains out there. And basically, now we have two terminuses, Stevenson and Cedar River. But the eastern part of the railway is the waterborne traffic. So there will be waterborne uh, passenger service coming to Cedar River as well. So we are going from the boats to the trains of Cedar, uh, at, at, at Stevenson and vice versa. So I'm just going to kind of show you the, uh, the scope of the room. Um, there is, it's a very, very, very long room, 60 feet, 61 feet. Approximately, you can see all the all the uh, backdrop supports. I'll just kind of take a little 
round here in the Cedar River again. Again, once the uh, this dock in front here and the engine facility is in here, we will not be able to walk through. But then again, you know, I, I had to provide access for the utilities, so if they need to be replaced, we can get in and out relatively simply. Um, a lot of storage underneath the layout, of course, this will all be covered up with the um, with, with skirting in the future. So if you can just imagine uh, the backdrops being in and we can't see here, I'll take you on the tour of the railroad. We're leaving Cedar River. It will be curving, of course, out to here. And it'll be going slightly up grade. It'll come around this small peninsula here. And I am trying to go slow. I've, I've had complaints on other videos that I've shot that they're too jerky and too fast. So um, I'm looking at 26 inch radius curves. Uh, something that's not too big or overwhelming, uh, but not too tight as well. As you can see, I forgot to take this block off of here. All of the wood on this layout has been recycled from um, my other, uh, my, my former HO scale layouts, the Wisconsin and Michigan railroads that I used to have. Uh, this trestle will be at the crossing the Walton River, which does go through Cedar River and it goes out uh, as far as North Lake. Um, as you can see, uh, it's at a slightly higher elevation than the than the bench work, which is okay because we're we're coming up grade here. We will meet this. I do have to hand lay some track on here. I've never hand laid track in my life. So this is this, this will be a new experience for me. And turning to the left here, we'll be advancing up grade slightly. North Lake will probably be about six inches above this. And there's a reason for that. Um, coming around the curve here, At about this point, and I'll, I'll walk through here several times to see, kind of get the gist of it. About this point here will be a junction called North Lake Junction. And that will be the start of the Westman Dam Lumber Company. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute. The, the main part of North Lake will actually be on this side of the peninsula where the depot um, will be in some odd buildings. Uh, there will also be a Y here, which will be coming this one leg of the Y there, one leg of the Y off of here. And as you can see, there's a doorway right here. This entire wall is going to come out and I will be able to push. It's, it's about it's nine feet wide. I'll be able to push about 16 to 18 feet into the other room that way. This door will be gone. Down this branch will be the sawmill. As you can see, I've got these things lined up on the floor here. They'll show one end of the new wall. And this cabinets, these cabinets here are actually going to come out. And they are about uh, 30 inches deep. So these will go out into a different part of the house. We, I, will, I will save these and recycle them. Let's go back into the railroad room. So this this will be a, a branch line, like I say, down to be a small yard, a uh, small engine facility for the uh, Westman Dam Lumber Company. And um, uh, the uh, log dump, um, and that'll be about it. Uh, there's interchange here between the two railroads. So anything going up to the lumber camp uh, from either Stevenson or from uh, Cedar River will have to be interchanged at this spot for the uh, Westman Dam Lumber Company's uh, operations. Um, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. So coming down the line here, there will be two, two bridges. One will be crossing Blair, Blair Creek, I believe, and the other one, either Big Brook or the Little Cedar River. If I do the Little Cedar River, it'll be on the other side. The next town will be called Palestine. And Palestine is right before Stevenson. At Palestine, we will have charcoal kilns, uh, which was, there was a real charcoal kiln site close to Palestine, Michigan, but there was also a cheese factory. There was a, um, currently there is a, a garage up there that they used to work on automobiles. Well, being that it's uh, the turn of the century, it's a, a carriage house. 
Um, I believe Al Judy built both of these structures as well. So we will have a, a small uh, station stop here plus uh, the charcoal kiln business and the, uh, uh, the cheese factory. So then coming down here, around the curve then we'll be coming into Stevenson. Um, I'm thinking in the foreground here will be a uh, turntable and small engine house. On the back here, along the wall, that entire length will be standard gauge O. And that will be the CNW. And we will have uh, somewhere located in here a transfer uh, freight house between the narrow gauge and the standard gauge. Uh, the end of the line then for the Stevenson Cedar River and Eastern Railway is down here. So that is the end of the railroad. Now, as you can see as I'm walking through, there is bench work for an upper level. This upper level is part of the Westman Dam Lumber Company. And I'll just kind of walk through, kind of point out what we're going to do. As you can see, the, the backdrop here between the Stevenson area and which is in North Lake, which is on the other side here, where that North Lake Junction is going to be, the track will all already be six inches, six inches above the bench work. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm bringing through the backdrop the track, which will be going up at about a five to five and a half percent grade, be going through between all these posts at a steady incline, curving behind this copper pipe and rising to here. So everything is going to be behind the backdrops as far as a steep climb, you'll never see that. And the entrances and exits uh, through the backdrop will be covered up by trees and foliage. So you won't see that either. Um, down at North Lake Junction, I'm thinking about having a small shack and um, uh, a ball signal. So up at uh, on the upper line then uh, we'll cross Devil's Creek at this point. Uh, this bridge was built by a place called Bridgeworks. It's B-R-I-D-G-E-W-E-R-K-S and they can be found online. And coming down here we will cross at a location called Upchit Creek and that is U-P-C-H-I-T, correct. And I'm just going to uh, reestablish the, the um, angles on here. Um, just snap them, they should come right off and, and re-glue them. It's a nice little curved trestle, it's built by uh, Scott Peterson from um, Mosinee, Wisconsin, Wausau area. Um, they'll come across here, there'll be backdrops everywhere. And on the upper level, will be pulpwood loading, spar tree for loading the logs, and the lumber camp at Gurley will be up here. Uh, there will be bunk houses and uh, you know all, all those uh, things that uh, you need at a lumber camp, uh, supply a warehouse. And down at the end here, I do have a nine inch uh, turntable that will go in here. Uh, so far for the um, uh, for the motive power for the logging railroad is um, a two truck shea T boiler and a, uh, a climax. Plus, I also have a little porter um, 042 which will work the sawmill. Now, let's just drop down to this other level. As you can see, this is the BTS Coon Gap sawmill. I purchased this past year and had it sent out to Rapid City, South Dakota, well actually Box Elder, South Dakota, uh, to Tulsa Mulvaney, who did an excellent job building this kit for me. Um, and again, that is Rushmore model custom structures, I, I can't remember. He is on Facebook, so just look up Tulsa Mulvaney. He's an excellent, excellent builder, um, and he's got a couple of things out there for people to, to, to look at and to buy too. So on the bottom level here, this will be my children's HO scale layout. Just kind of back up and pan there. 
So it's just a mirror image of the top, and I'll just, I had to store all my, my extra stuff up here just to do the video. Sorry, it's, it's, I'm walking too fast here, but uh, it's just going to be a switching layout, and it's tied in to mine. And actually, it kind of helps to support mine. <laughs> so, let's just uh, take an overview of, uh, of what we got here. This is up Chick Creek again. Uh, the upper level uh, actually will end up going down to North Lake. Stevenson is along here. Palestine is right here. The control system is NCE. All the locomotives have TCS wall sound in them, which I prefer over the uh, Tsunami. <clears throat> Coming back then to North Lake. Um, this door here goes up to my garage and to get from the door that we came into to here you will have to walk through that room around the, uh, the head of the peninsula where the, where the, the uh, sawmill will be. <clears throat> so again here at North Lake where the Y will be, the yard, sawmill. Coming around to North Lake Junction where the Westman Dam Lumber Company will will take off back here and through and up and over all behind the backdrops and then just some indiscriminate scenery along in here um, in this area of the country we do have some nice ridges uh, cedar, tamarack, pine, hardwoods. Um, so, you know, we also have swamp area, marshland. Uh, so we, I'm not mo modeling mountain scenery. I'm not modeling, you know, a lot of rock work, although there is a lot of limestone in, in Menominee County. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And again, I hope to have, uh, before I shoot another video, I hope to have the track from about this point at Cedar River <clears throat> down around the small peninsula, <clears throat> across the trestle, across Walton River, <clears throat> and then up and through North Lake, wired into running. So at least I, ha I can, you know, move some trains. That would be most excellent. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else I can I can uh, talk about here. Mm -hmm. So we're going on 20 minutes actually. I hope uh, I haven't walked too fast. I hope it's not uh, too uh, hard to uh, look at and, and figure out what I'm doing. Let's take one brief pass through here again at Cedar River. Beautiful engine house, my goodness. Fully detailed on the inside. You know, the, the reason that I got out of HO scale and went to ON30 is because there are two people who actually gave me free locomotives uh, that had DCC, uh, one of them had sound, and it's like, well, I was kind of hooked. <laughs> I've been an HO scale model railroader probably for oh, 30 years or so. Um, my influences came from both of my grandfathers. My maternal grandfather had Lionel, so we certainly had some O scale, uh, O27 roots, and my my maternal grandfather had HO scale. And I saw that stuff as a boy and. It really took off, and you know, I'm 58 years old now, and you know, try to keep those memories uh, alive. How I was touched by by the hobby, and 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 what it means to me. So, I'm hoping that as I go along, you know, I can I can show you guys some updates and stuff. Um, I do plan on adding better lighting down here. That's going to be a major project. Um, it will probably all be um, you know small fluorescent. I used to light my layouts with uh, four foot fluorescent fixtures, um, but that got to be a little expensive too. So 
I'll just swing back around here one more time. Just do 180 degree for you. And we'll say good night from the Stevenson Cedar River in Eastern. Thank you for joining me. Have a great night.